you are out of your bloody mind to leave him mm -hmm. clear cut you are out of your bloody mind you know why وَمَا أَنفَقْتُم مِّن شَيْءٍ فَهُوَ يُخْلِفُهُ وَهُوَ خَيْرُ الرَّازِقِينَ We want to establish an amazing masjid for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the country of Norway. Click on the link and donate now for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Uh, so we want to move on to marriage now, inshallah. Um, you have one wife, I assume, <laughs> uh, from what you said. I have the right to remain silent. Anything I say will be used against me. In a, was it court of defense? Was it court, uh, court, court of law? Defense. Yeah, I will. I will. I will pass. My solicitor said, "Say no comment." <laughs> yeah. Is that your wife? Would this? Oh no, that's Ishan. <laughs> yeah. Uh, thing to be honest with these matters, I'll be honest with you. Sometimes I joke about this. Sometimes I talk heavily about this issue as well. Um, jokes aside, it's it's a very it's a serious topic in that sense. It's it's of course we can joke around it and and I believe this. Like I've said this as well. Like I mean, if if I mean, you probably know. Your I believe. Like I don't know if you've had this discussion with your husband. My yeah, we sister. talk about it all the time. In the sense, exactly, you know, exactly. Like, exactly. So the, 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 you talk about it in what sense, though? Do you talk about it in the sense of exploring the idea, or just him and within his nature? How does the discussion revolve? If you don't mind me asking, you don't need to. It's a, it's a private discussion. You don't need to. Oh no, it's. We, we joke about it, you know, it's a joke, but if he said to me before we got married, it's something that he wanted to do, I would then think, okay, seriously, let's have this discussion. But it was never a conversation, and he's always known from me that it's not something that I personally could do. If okay. a serious discussion, then we'd have to have the discussion. But I do think for a man, if you want to get married multiple times, it's something that you should air to the wife before you make her your wife. It's only fair. But you know everybody each to their own okay is your husband watching this he might be yeah okay now me sister let me tell you a bit a few things about me i'm somebody i like to deal with uh reality i like to deal with situations that are real like in the sense where i believe there's disneyland and then there is the reality i believe in today's time a lot of people are in disneyland like they they really don't understand now I totally respect and never look, I'll be honest with you. If I know a brother is in his marriage and I would never ever go to that guy and start telling him, listen, go get a second wife. Never. If like there's one brother, he actually comes to the Bitter Truth podcast. He even admitted, like, you know, he is polygamous by nature. Every man, not a single man on this earth, can come and tell me he's not polygamous by nature. I would put him on a lie detector test. I'll yeah. pay for it. So every man is polygamous by nature. However, that this doesn't mean I'm going to go and try to wreck people's family by saying, no, no, go get a second wife. I'll never do that. That's very childish and immature. I would say, bro, you can do it. No problem. Keep your happy man. I would even say if that brother who is, for example, have never had polygamy in his head, like he, he, he is wired like that. Don't get it twisted. It's an area you can explore. It's wired. And believe me, if I was to speak to any woman's husband, I'll make it general. And I said to them, bro, your wife is totally okay with it. Totally. No problem at all. Not a single man on this planet Earth will say, nah, I would not. <laughs> Every man would say, brother, forget two. I want three and four. <laughs> Actually, if it's allowed, six, seven and eight. So the thing is here is that every man is polygamous by nature. These men that you speak to, they will say, oh, you know, if it wasn't for the headache. Okay, so there's conditions. So if there was no headache, headache coming from who? The first wife. Okay, good. So if that wasn't there, you would do it. Okay, so which tells us what? You are prone to do it. Now, there's one thing that you mentioned, which is very important. You said, if he told me from the beginning, yeah? Now, I'll give an example, like an analogy, so we understand. Sometimes sisters fall into haram, yeah? And when they fall into haram, imagine, and I give this analogy so people can understand. Because the moment a woman says, if he told me that he wants a second wife, then that would have been different. Well, guess what? No woman on this planet Earth would marry a man that says he wants a second wife. Unless he is a man who is of... I don't want to use this red pill high value, man. I'm talking about a man with taqwa, who fears Allah, who practices, who provides for his wife. He loves his wife. Yeah? A, a, a man who has these resources. Because to me, a woman is built to be polygamous. Built. I, I, I'll tell this outright. Because if Allah has legislated something, it cannot be that Allah has told... A woman to do something that she cannot do Because Allah says in the Quran In, uh, in the uh, Surah 286 if, if I'm not mistaken He does not burden a soul more than it can bear So meaning that 
if Allah has legislated A, that means that is possible to be done. So if a woman has committed haram and she goes and tells every suitor that comes and proposes and says, by the way, I, I, I committed zina. Would any man want to marry her? No. Okay. If a man comes and says, I'm planning on getting a second wife, would any woman marry her? Probably not. Good. So a man judges a woman by her past and a woman judges a man by his future. Meaning, if when sisters come and say, but you should have been honest from the get-go, like argument's sake, and I'm not, I'm not wishing this on you. If your husband was to come and say, I've changed my mind. No, yeah? I, know, I know. We've had these conversations. Okay, okay, okay. okay. If he was to come and say, I've changed my mind. I don't know what the conversations are. I don't know. I don't want to yeah. If he said, I've changed my mind. Now, you, can, you can't come and say to him, oh, but if you told me from the beginning, true, but it's as good as the woman who committed haram. She knows that every time she mentions it, she gets rejected, 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 rejected. So men, as men, I'm telling you, I'm telling you outright our mind. If I know, that I'm polygamous by nature. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell my wife because she's not going to want to marry me. Unless, like I said before, am I, I don't know, if I had some, I don't know, I was drop dead gorgeous or I don't know, it's, I was a millionaire or I, had, I don't know, I was just a very God fearing. I don't know, whatever it may be that, you know, women are high polygamous by nature and she's like, you know what, I don't mind sharing this man. Argument's sake, yeah? So the point is what? This is the reason why men will never admit to it. Just mm -hmm. the same way a woman will never admit. And what do we say to those sisters? That is a sin, yeah? Mm -hmm. That is a sin that's been committed, which you should hide, repent, Allah forgive you, yeah? No problem. So, it's a sin. Can we say a man has a right to? Okay, man's Okay, it's for hard for a man to imagine that somebody else... Oh. Okay, okay. But here is halal. This is halal. This, this is halal here. So, the point is what, my dear sister? And the reason why I'm emphasizing on this topic is why? Because every man is polygamous by nature. Mm -hmm. And the more we attack, and I say this to sisters who contact me, my, my husband wants to get a second wife, I'm going to divorce my sister. Just want to ask you a quick, simple question. Does your husband pray? Yeah. Does he fast? Yeah. Does he uh, give in zakah? Yes. Is he good to you? Yes. Does he love you? Yes. Caring? Yes. Ever hit you? This, that? No. This is a good man. You are out of your bloody mind to leave him. Mm -hmm. Clear cut. You are out of your bloody mind. Do you know why? Because you got... Uh, look, my dear sisters who are watching this, do not for a moment think that the next man you're going to marry is going to be any different. Now, I'll give this example. It's from actually uh, thermodynamics. The second law of thermodynamics, and you're going to be thinking, Brother Ali, what the hell has this got to do with polygamy? The second law of thermodynamics is that energy cannot be created or destroyed. Let me give you an example. These are my glasses. If I set them on fire they have changed the form of energy and turned into something else. Mm -hmm. They haven't gone away, they've just changed form. Meaning, the next man you marry, he's going to come and say to you, Paliki me and me? Oh no, no, I'm so happy with you. Mm -hmm. Okay. And next thing you know, you catch him talking to another girl. He's either doing it in a haram way, or he's doing it secretly behind your back, or he's man enough to come and say, you know what? This is who I am. This is what I am. And I'm not going to do it behind your back because I want to be honest with you. And I call that man an honorable man. But for those brothers who also do it secretly, some of them I don't blame it because some of these sisters are on a matting. So what I'm saying is this, sister. This is in our nature. It's in our blood. Yeah. I don't want well, like, Let me tell you something. If I started a company, pharmaceutical company, and I said, I have this new pill. Brothers, when you take this, you're not polygamous anymore. I will sell out. Yeah. billions you know why because a man's thinking brother i want to take that i don't want to be this 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 innate desire that i have for another woman i don't want it every single man on earth will take it yeah. we do not wake up one day and go how can i destroy my wife mentally and make it no 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 wallahi no man wants to do that who loves his wife but it's in our blood and one other point that i'll mention it's as good a woman who wants to divorce her husband because he's polygamous. It's as good as me and your husband saying our wives nag. Every woman nags. Every woman. Trust me. It's like me saying my wife said something so deep to me and I'm so damn hurt. Yeah. But she was just having a moment. She's just, just women are like that. They are sharp with their tongue. Imagine me saying I'm going to divorce you because you are keep saying things that you don't mean. That's within the nature. Well, guess what, Ali? Or what's your husband's name, sister? If you don't mind me asking, you don't say it. 
I would rather not no problem. Let's let's call him the, the, the handsome brother, mashallah. I'm sure he's a handsome brother, yeah. <laughs> yes. The handsome brother, yeah. The same he says, Brother Ali, he calls me and he says, Bro, I've had enough of my wife. I'm like, why? He's like, she said something really hurtful. I go, brother, guess what? So did my wife. So did Zishan's. <laughs> but guess what, bro? If we divorce our wives, do you think the next woman we're gonna marry is gonna be any damn different? No. So how about we stick to our wives, the good woman? Of course they have their flaws. We have our flaws. So the point is what? You are not running away from the problem. As a man, I'm not running away because the next woman I'm going to marry, she might have another negative quality which is even worse. So the point is what? Every man is polygamous by nature, my dear sister. And yeah. if one day, I'm just saying, it doesn't have to be, if, if one day for some reason, whatever it may be, he wants to explore the idea, I say this not just to you, I say mm -hmm. it to all the sisters. Do not make the mistake of destroying your house and going your separate ways. Please, please, I beg you. Why? Because my dear sister, he doesn't do it because he wants to hurt you. He is created in that manner. Now, of course, there's going to be jealousy. The best of women to walk this earth, Aisha and has smashed plates. Mm -hmm. Allah told us in the Quran the stuff they did. Yeah. And some of the scholars even say they're not even blameworthy because it's just, do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah, it's we, nature, human nature. We understand and we accept you like that. Because as men, there's things that we put up with in the sense of our wives have menstruation, our wives are pregnant, our wives have menopause. We as men have a urge towards intimacy to a level where studies say there is no comparison. There are terms in times where we need to compromise. However, the point is what? If a man who wants to do it in an honorable way, and I'll give you sisters this hack for free. You don't need to sign up to my course. It's for free. If you do not want your husband to get a second wife, here's my recipe. Sprinkle it on the biryani if you like, yeah? Let me tell you, very simple. You tell him, if you ever want to get married again, you are going to marry that woman, not secretly. I'm going to know about it. You are going to give her mahar. You're going to do a walima. You are going to go speak to her dad. You're going to treat her how you treat me. And now let's see how many men want to do that. Because most men, they just want to do a little secret nikah, get married for a couple of months and divorce the sister. But when you put these stipulations, and that's the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down, that's the reason why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent down uh, protocols to do polygamy. Why? Because it protects the woman. Because non-Muslim men do it. Side chicks, mistresses and girlfriends. Allah says you are not allowed to use the woman in that way. You want to do it? Here's the protocols. So now man is looking and thinking, bruv, mahar, walima, speak to the dad, another in-laws, la, no, I'm, I've changed my mind. <laughs> you get what I'm trying to say? So, <laughs> but if your husband can do that, then I would say, my dear sister, whoever you are, Wherever you are, submit. Do not break your house because you know what's going to happen? You're going to destroy yourself, him, the kids, and everybody. Ask Allah, the one who's created the heavens and the earth, to make it easy on you. I'm very sure the one who created the entire globe, it's not difficult for him to give you some peace, make you understand. And guess what? Allah says in the Quran, you might hate something which is good for you, and you might love something which is bad for you. Our principles in Islam is not this dunya, I like what I want. No. As a man, I have to go to war, sister. Mm -hmm. And guess what? Which is worse? Me going to war and dying and my wife marrying somebody else? Or my wife sharing me with another woman? Mm -hmm. Which one's worse? At least I'm in her life half the time, or whatever it may be. I'm still looking, providing, protecting. I'm still there for the kids. I'm still the same Ali. What is the difference? Me, when I go to war and I die, my wife with the inheritance that I leave, she's going to be having a happy time with a holiday with a new husband if she no. wants to get married again. So do you see when people come and say, oh, this is a man's religion, da 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 da. Excuse me. If it was a man's religion, I am better off doing this as a non-Muslim because there's no rules and regulations and I can just be with multiple women. No limits, not even four. Two. But Islam regulated it to four and put protocols in place so it is done in the right way to protect the second and protect the third and protect the fourth. And let me tell you something. Just finish on this. Sorry, I gave a whole lecture. Oh, no, no. It's a passionate topic of mine. So, yeah, <laughs> and, and, and the reason why it's passionate is some people think it's because it benefits me. Oh, so yeah. billah. Let me tell you, sister, yeah? yeah. I see marriages breaking down because of this. I know. 
And I'm saying this because I don't want to see the breakdown of the family unit. That's the reason why I started the Bitter Truth show. That's the reason why I'm working on a project behind the scenes. But the point is, is that look, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has legislated it. And I know of a story of a brother who was getting to know a sister for marriage. I know this and I know it is the truth because I witnessed it. This sister said to him, I am... Um, are you polygamous? He said, I'll lie to you if I said I'm not. So this was going back and forth. And she said, look, I don't trust you. I, I, I fear you're going to go get married again. Okay. He goes and gets married to somebody else. Guess who comes back? Really? After he got married? Yep. Guess who comes back? And guess what she proposes? A second marriage? Isn't that interesting? Now you tell me the mind of a woman. Isn't it bizarre? She doesn't want to share him as the first wife. But she comes back and says, I don't mind being the second wife. Do you know why? Because a woman is wired in that way. In the house, now you might be thinking, me? Never. The point is this. Depends who the man is. Depends. It depends. So for a woman, Allah has created the woman in that manner. Women are hypergamous by nature. So they look to this man, who might be, I don't know, six foot, whatever. He's got wealth. He's a man of, is, is, like one sister said, I'd rather spend half the time with a good man than full time with a waste man. Yeah, that's true. So, 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 and not only that, a woman cannot cater to two men. No way. But a woman, a man, he can. So please don't ruin your marriage over that. And I say to all of you, if, if your husband comes, sit down. I know it's painful. It's this, but wallahi. And I tell men, if you, are willing to go behind your wife's back and commit haram, you are a coward. If you are willing to please your wife over the displeasure of Allah, you are a coward. Mm -hmm. So I would say, as long as you put Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala first, Allah will give you a way out. Do not ever compromise the obedience to Allah at the cost, like Allah says in the Quran to the Prophet ﷺ, why do you make what is halal haram on yourself? Because of your wives. Mm -hmm. Islamnet is raising funds to establish a masjid and community center in Norway and they urgently need your support. Every person who prays there, every kid that learns about Islam, every youngster that memorizes the Quran, all of this and so much more can be on your scale of good deeds. Click the link and donate what you can and share the video for even extra reward.